This is the only way we can leave. And now that we're stuck here, we're gonna survive 24 hours here in the desert. But we're not just in any desert, we're at Arax Mafia Land. And just to challenge ourselves even more, we're only gonna survive with items from the dollar store that we bought. And the only way we can recover our keys and leave is if we finish these five envelopes. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna open the first envelope. Envelope? Envelope. Envelope. It is build shelter. So we have to build a shelter with the dollar store item. <laughs> This is what I got from the dollar store for my shelter. It's a, it's a whole bunch of boards. I think Elliot here is making something out of some trash that was left here that we found. Do you have a plan or are you just uh, just doing it? You know, every man has to start doing it. The plan comes along afterwards. I have no clue what I'm doing. I literally just have car cardboard. That, that's it. So we started gathering and building. This is just the first thing that we're doing and we've only been at it for like 10 minutes. And I'm already dying. It is so hot out here. And we are just in the absolute middle of nowhere. This started to get really hard because of how windy it was. The board even flew up and hit me in my balls. I give you our shelter. Your shelter. We tried using these uh, plastic table covers as a roof, but it, as you saw, it was very windy, so it did not work. So now on the inside, uh, it is nice and shady. At this point, the heat obviously started getting to us because Elliot started to eat ants. Oh! Really sweet, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Ew! We are each gonna pick a punishment card. And if we leave, then this punishment has to happen to us. Let's see my shuffle is up real quick. What the f is bucket of milk? So if we leave, then I have to get a whole bucket of milk poured on my head. Just so you know, we're not faking them. Here's all the cards right here, okay? And I'm shuffling them. And now Elliot's punishment. Corey chooses. That one, I don't know how to feel about that Yeah, one. no, that one's more foul than the milk. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got the punishments, it's time to pick envelope two. I am dying out here. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, could be worse, could be better. Second. Explore. This is great. It's literally just desert, but we're going to explore. So we'll start our exploration right here where we're going to set up camp. If you don't recognize this flag, it's from the YouTubers, I believe, Rev.Michael Porter. Arak actually challenged them to come build a house here. This is where the house was, I believe, because in the video, they put concrete in and it's right here. So if I'm not mistaken, this is Arak's hand. He's got some pretty big ass hands. All right, we're gonna see what we can find. It's very hot out here, so thank God I brought my little to-go cup that I did get from the Dollar Tree. I guess a good upside to this, being out in the sun, is I'm gonna get tan, because I am looking a little pasty. We can all agree that. We've come to our second finding. We're sketchy. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, that was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Just your casual uh, bullet hole marks. There's also this shed here. I don't. Looks pretty abandoned. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Ah! <laughs> that Moki even scared me. I knew it was coming. <laughs> um, there is currently someone that just pulled up to our little campsite area. Um, we're gonna go see what this is all about. Yeah, I, because uh, I steal my my, my van. Okay. I steal one car. This started to really freak us out because we were in the middle of nowhere and we didn't know anything about this guy or what he wanted. And it seemed like he just stole a car. So for all we know, he could have a gun and be really dangerous. I don't know police. The police were coming. We have to be careful. In the area, be careful. In the night, be careful. Yeah. yeah. We're staying here. Is that, is that a bad idea? Me, me I stay here. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're staying, staying here. here. Oh, you? Yeah. yeah. Is that a bad idea? Or... No way. Yeah. yeah. Bad idea? Yeah, you don't think so. <laughs> so this kind of just got um really real. That dude was basically saying how this is not a good area and he came over here to see if he could try to spot his van that apparently got stolen. And he said the people that live over there also got a car stolen and said this is really not a good area to be. They come here at night and steal stuff. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. It's kinda kinda scary now that this is all we have and then just a uh a car just sitting here. And he said the cops definitely do not come out here. So that's another thing to worry about. Keep in mind how much he was trying to get us to go back to his house. That also, I know he's yeah. a nice guy and everything. Yeah, him trying to make us come back to his house is also kind of scary. I don't know. 
After a little while of deciding what to do, we both agreed to keep going for now and try to enjoy this amazing journey. We are on to envelope number three out of five. Let's open this. Number three is make a fire. Now this is very important for our survival. Now since we are surviving off only Dollar Tree items, we're gonna try a magnifying glass, a mirror. I heard this works. We ended up finding a little piece of flint that was here, that was left here. There it is. So if the mirror and the magnifying glass cannot work, we will use the flint. But if that doesn't work for some reason, then we'll use this lighter that we got from the dollar store. But this is last case scenario. Now the reason why making this fire is so important is for a couple reasons. One, we don't want to freeze to death because it gets very cold out in the desert at night time. And our food depends on it because we need to boil some water tonight in order to eat. Also, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do have an envelope that has shout outs in it. So later on, I'm going to read these and who knows your name might be in this envelope. So we tried the magnifying glass, didn't work. Then we tried the mirror, didn't work. So this forced us to use the flint. Now, we didn't know entirely what we were doing, so Elliot literally tried doing this for an hour. I never give it up! I give it up! I think he's giving up. How perfect, that bottle cap says power through. And after another half an hour trying with no flames, he decided to use his hair to try to catch fire. <laughs> use your hair. It still wasn't working, so logically Elliot decided to add more hair. And that didn't work until. Right hand. No, 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 you could no. So we just figured out that this twine that we got from the dollar store um, catches fire very, very easily. Very, very, very easily. That was bushy right there, like that will catch on fire. Dude, they just like. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's crackling. It's not started yet. Not even close to started yet. After a lot of hard work, Elliot got a flame. It's so windy, so we're crossing our fingers. Hopefully this still works. Now that we got the fire going, we are going to attempt to cook these. We got some, you know, some nice old SpaghettiOs with meatballs and some nacho cheese. Put a little crack on it so if it gets too hot, it will spoil out over that, you know, no exploding cans. Not really sure if that's how that works, but <laughs> put a crack to be safe. For science. All right, so we got our SpaghettiOs cooking nicely and our nacho cheese. Now that the sun is going down, it is actually very beautiful out here. We're gonna go ahead and open envelope number four. Let's see. Number four is paint. Let's have a little fun. Maybe paint the sunset. Or kind of awkward. This gave us a chance to really sit back and enjoy what we've done. No matter the heat, the really scary man, or Elliot burning his thumb, this was a really amazing experience that we got to share together. All right, come in here. These are um, inter... inter Interpurations. So take them how you will. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Look at that. You can't even... <laughs> you can't even tell. Comment which one is better down below in the comment section. One. Take a good look at that, Johnson. Or two. Okay, low key, Dollar Tree paint goes kind of hard, but I think it is time to try our SpaghettiOs right now. I'm kind of scared. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Gordon would be jealous right now. I don't know, pretty good. Is it actually? Oh, it's actually like warm. Yeah, one bite, everybody knows the rules. One bite. All right, SpaghettiOs in the middle of the desert, stuck here for the night. Cheers. Oh, that's that's kind of fire. <laughs> Just SpaghettiOs, what do you expect? I don't know what we're expecting. We're gonna try the nacho cheese now. Oh God, that looks so soupy. Mmm. It's freezing cold. <laughs> no shot, really? 
See, now we want it to be cold. Now it's just like fondue. Now we can sit around the table and dip stuff in our cheese. True. Dollar Tree fondue. Who's doing it? Mmm. And I almost forgot to mention when the sun goes down and it gets pitch black out here, I have a little bit of a surprise. Okay, well this looks really weird in the light and it's really cold out here, so I'm gonna do the shout outs though. We got PewDiePie, fake PewDiePie, Ben Games, Henry Fletcher, Kate Creative, and Flourishing Ghost. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want your shout out next video, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Yeah, that uh... That kind of spilt over, it got kind of gross, but anyways, now we're going to do envelope five, five out of five, the very last one. It is freezing out here, absolutely freezing. And the last one for surviving out in the desert is get some rest. Now this one might be the most difficult one because we still haven't decided if we are going to fall asleep or not because of how scared we are. So we're gonna try to get some rest now. We'll hopefully see you in, in the morning. This was such a tough decision and I hate to say it, but we left. That guy really freaked us out and we did not want to risk us getting hurt or possibly dying. We did so much work for this, and for what? Just to throw it away? Since the moment I started the car, I felt like a complete failure. I am still grateful that we got that far because of all the great memories I will take away from this time. So, I guess there's only one thing left to do.